Hey everyone, it's Kevin D again. This is another one of my videos. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the unboxing and possibly a review of the Blue Mesh Rolly Cot. This comes to you from, the name of the company is Camp Time Incorporated. I just ordered this a few days ago. It arrived yesterday and I'm just now getting around to making this video. This is the standard size and it's blue. The dimensions are 74 inches long, 28 inches wide, by 15 inches tall. So put that to the side. I will note on the outside of the box, it says Camp Time Rolly Cot 74 by 28. Okay. Packaging seems to be okay. Get my phone out of the way, hope it doesn't ring. It does come with this mesh carrying case. I believe this is the same case that you put on the side of the cot once you have the cot expanded. It open up or is it just sewn together? So the handle part right here, this is sewn together so it doesn't come apart. Yeah, that's sewn together. This is made out of some durable material. Ah, that shouldn't break anytime soon, I would hope. Ah, these handles could do be done sewn a little bit better. Just a eh. Yeah, I'm afraid they might get snagged on something. If you pull hard enough on it, it will break. So just be wary of that. But other than that, I'm kind of impressed with the case. It only has one handle, though. I figured it'd have dual handles. But it only makes sense to have one handle since it doesn't open up. It's sewn together pretty good. Yeah, I kind of like the case. Set that over here right now. Put my what knife away. So I'm looking for the instructions, but I don't see any instructions. I'll make sure I didn't bypass them in the box here. Nothing in the box. Nothing. <laughs> well, I guess I'm winging it. Yeah, there's no instructions on the packaging slip. Set that over there. Make some more room here. This is my garage. It's always dirty in here. We always got stuff going on. It's Halloween right now. We have boxes everywhere. Okay, so here is the instructions. Lolicot assembly. Show that to the camera real quick. I doubt you can see that close and personal time of it. Just some more items that they have available at the store. Uh, they got stools, accessories. They have a table that you can made by this company a roll roll a table roll a chair i'm sure if you go to camptime.com you can see everything that they have for sale yeah, the good thing is it's made in the united states everything's made in the usa and i believe they are out of spokane washington am i saying that yeah they're out of spokane valley washington spokane valley washington so that's a plus right there for everybody that likes to order with the United States. Let me get the instructions back so I don't mess this up. Unroll and unfold, cot on the ground, push it, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble this cot and I'll bring you right back and I'll let you know exactly how long it took me for the first time. No sense of you seeing me struggle through this and get a good laugh out of it. 
because I'm sure it'll uh, bewilder me at one point or another. So give me five, ten minutes, and I'll be right back. Before I assemble this, I think I should let you guys know exactly how I think it's made. Uh, these poles, I don't know if this is aluminum. It might be aluminum. They're, they seem to be okay. Some nice wing nuts on here. The screws that the wing nuts go into. This little black part right here seems to be held up pretty good. Got some Velcro right here on, uh, I believe this is part of the leg assembly. I'm not for sure yet. Uh, everything seems to be made pretty well. There was a, um, two legs to go to it. Well, it'd be actually, it's two X brackets, I should call it. And it'd be two different positions where the legs sit on the cot. Yeah, they call them hinge leg frames. So that's what the company calls them. They seem to be pretty good. I don't know about this uh, rivet here in the middle. It should last a while. I don't know. I kind of wish it was just a nut and bolt. So that way if it did break, you can just replace it easier. But it looks good so far. So, let me look at this. This is the, the part you'd be sleeping on, the fabric. Feels pretty durable. It's some hard mesh, plastic mesh. It looks good. Feels good. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's better than those old army cots that I used to sleep on. Those can't that canvas didn't give for anything. Wow. You'd put those things together if you got one brand new and you were talking about a backache in the morning. All right, let me assemble this and I'll be right back with you. So I decided to stop and uh, show you guys a few things that something I just learned. On the sides here, it does show adjustable the assembly and disassembly. So what they do is they have they have, they have these tubes inside of tubes in here that slide down and engage with the top tube. Well, I'm calling it the top tube down there. But uh, it even states right here, slide. So it's kind of a no-brainer when you're putting them together. An old uh, army vet can do this. I'm sure anybody can do this. Uh, let me just get them inside one another there. There we go. Okay, so those are fully extended. Uh, without looking at the instructions, I'm just assuming that you'd want the holes up so you can slide the legs into it. And it does say push and twist sliding tubes to engage rails across center of cot. Hinge leg frames together as shown in pictorial. Then insert their pins into rail holes Wrap tape around rails. Wrap tape around rails. Okay. That must be the tape on top of the X-wings, as I was calling earlier, the hinge leg frames. And then installed side pouch. All right, let me give it a let me give it a go here. Let me see if I can use some good old common sense and get this thing put together. Well, stuff. What are these pieces for? Hinge leg frame together shown in pictorial. Then insert their pins into rail holes. Okay. Well, maybe I don't understand. Wait, now, okay, the adjustable of the firmness. I got it now. So, so you don't look stupid like I just did. You leave the wing nuts on there. And you can adjust them to fit inside the holes on the actual leg. And then you can adjust them like so, so you can adjust the firmness of the mat of the pad. 
It says in the instructions, it shows a picture, but I just didn't see it at first glance. Okay, we got one side in. I'm going to screw that wing nut a little bit. Okay. I'm going to screw this one. Loosen it up, I should say, so that way it'll slide together easier. Okay, got those two in. Now I'm going to make sure the wing nut's all the way touching this black part right here when you're assembling it. Bring it over here. I don't know if you can see me or not. That one's in there. That one's in there. Put it in the hole. Put it in the hole. Okay, it's in there. I'm going to take these straps, put the straps around it, put the straps around it, okay. And there we have the cot. Hoping this is coming out on the camera real well. And then you can put the carrying case on it if so. Uh, how does it show? It just shows the carrying case goes on here. I guess it goes on with the Velcro, I'm assuming. Let me see. <sighs> Yes, sir, it does. If you look at the picture here, you can see that it goes on with the Velcro in, in pieces right here. These little circular straps. But once again, I warn you, if you put a lot of weight in here, which I don't know why you would, I'd be uh, really aware of these straps right here. They seem to be sewn pretty good, but I don't know. I don't know. There's one. Move out of the way here. And there's number two. All right. Let me make sure I can see everybody. Everybody can see what I'm doing here. So this is the fully assembled cot. You can see on the timer how long it took me to put together. Uh, I don't feel like it took that long, even though I didn't know what I was doing, and I was kind of messing up at first. I weigh 238 pounds. No issues. The bars do flex a little bit, so that's good. I hope they just don't bend, and then they don't want to come apart. But everything seems to be pretty good. That's a lot softer than the old army cots. Holy cow, that's a lot softer. I think if I put a, a pad on top of here, or, an, I don't know about an air mattress, a good pad, I think I'd be able to sleep all right, because I do sleep on my side, so we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, this is my first impressions. This was unboxing of it. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Uh, for the money you, I paid for it, I hope it lasts me a long time. I believe I picked it up for, let me see here, $145.80, a little bit more than I'd like to pay for it, but hopefully it's a, a good cot and it'll last me for years to come.
So with that being said, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like this, please give me a like button. I don't have a certain genre I follow when I make my videos. I just make videos. I'm not going to have five YouTube channels for reviewing a cod or reviewing something else and then go camping and then take a walk in the park. I'm just not going to do it. That's why it's called My Videos by Kevin D. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Uh, my goal is to get a thousand people to watch me. <laughs> that's my goal. I don't think that's a bad goal. And we'll see how it comes out. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day. Until next time.